everyone welcome back to my youtube channel today we're going to be talking about the pros and cons of becoming a sonographer so first we're going to start with the pros the first pro is that you can become a sonographer in two years yes it does not take that long to become a sonographer you could go to a bachelor's program or associate's program i am in an associate's program some programs allow you to get a certification for it i'm pretty sure with those programs you would have to have a degree but for my program, it is an associate's degree, so I will come out of my program with an associate's degree. The second pro is that the pay is really, really great for sonographers. It is a very stable job that provides so many opportunities for you. You can work in outpatient or the hospital. It gives you a variety of different choices that you can choose from. You don't necessarily have to work in a hospital. You can work in a woman's clinic. You can work in an OB office. There are so many different opportunities when it comes to ultrasound. I personally would recommend that you start in a hospital so that you can get that experience. I don't have any children and I'm getting married. So working in a hospital is great because you make so much more money in a hospital versus outpatient because you can get so many more hours in a hospital versus an outpatient clinic. If you want a video on that, I will have a video out like that coming very soon. So stay tuned for that video. The third pro is that you get to travel. For those people who love to travel, this is something that you really may want to look into. With traveling sonography, you can go all the way to California or to another country, but for the USA, you can definitely become a travel sonographer. Travel sonographers get paid really, really well. It takes a lot of experience to be a travel sonographer because you will be working on machines by yourself with no help. So I would recommend that you get that experience under your belt first for at least a year before you decide to go out and start traveling. The fourth pro is that there is always a need for more sonographers. This is a perfect time for you to become a sonographer. If you are looking into it, I suggest you go ahead and make that leap if you've done your research because there has been a lot of people leaving the healthcare field, which means that there are more opportunities for someone who is looking to get into the medical field. That's all I have to say about that. The fifth pro is that we get to wear white coats. I know it doesn't really have anything to do with your job or your duties, but it is very aesthetically pleasing to wear a white coat. Yes, we do get to wear white coats. I think it is really, really cute. And also the purpose of the white coats, because I really didn't even know this before, it is so that you don't get any germs on your uniform. You don't need to have one, but it is aesthetically pleasing. Of course, don't walk around saying that you're a doctor or anything because you're not, but who wouldn't want to wear a white coat? The sixth pro is that it is a generally calm environment, but it can be stressful depending on where you work. If you work in a hospital, especially a really big hospital, it could be way more stressful than you work in an outpatient facility or a hospital that is way more slower. So the stress levels vary depending on where you work. You're going to be stressed no matter where you work. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. Oh the seventh pro if you work in a hospital is that you get a variety of different shifts and hours that you can choose from. You have the morning shift, the day shift, the night shift. I feel like that is very good knowing that you don't have a specific time frame to be at work. Whereas an outpatient, you may be working in an office and it may be from eight in the morning to five in the afternoon. With a hospital, you get so many different varieties of shifts so it could fit your lifestyle. Now let's get into the cons. My first con is that you are the first person to know what's wrong with the patient most of the time. It can be very heartbreaking having a patient that's going through the roughest time of their lives. It can be very hard on you if you're not used to dealing with people going through very traumatic experiences. So you must be able to know how to deal with these things and to not let it affect your life outside of work. You have to know how to turn work off and that can be very, very hard. When you have a patient that's dealing with a miscarriage or a patient that has just been told that they have cancer, it can be really hard doing those exams and you just have to know how to have a poker face and to not let that affect your life outside of work. The second con is that you are at high risk of going through a work-related injury. 
this can affect your career as a sonographer especially if you do not practice proper ergonomics ergonomics is the study of work and it is the study of how you work you cannot be leaning over a patient and you know throw your whole shoulder out from that you know you have to use proper ergonomics but sometimes that can be very very hard so at least 80 to 90 percent of sonographers go through a work-related injury that's why it's very important for you to keep up with yourself and to make sure that you are doing the best that you can to practice those proper ergonomics the most common areas of injury in a sonographer is the thumb wrist shoulder back and feet injuries are going to happen but just try to avoid them as much as you can. The fourth con is that you cannot tell the patient the results of the exam. It is the radiologist's job to interpret and read those images. And it is the physician's job to tell the patient what is wrong with them or what is the results. You cannot tell them the results. And this is an issue because you're going to have patients that are very, very adamant on finding out what is wrong. Sometimes they can be very pushy and aggressive and you just have to find a way to let them know that you cannot tell them what's going on. You have to be able to say it in the most polite way as possible. Sometimes it can be really hard. They're always going to expect you to tell them the results and at some places they do allow you to give results especially dealing with pregnancies sometimes but for the most part most facilities do not allow you to give results because that can come back on you and if you give them the wrong results that puts your credentials on the line. So make sure whatever you do do not give them the results of the exam. The fifth con is that you are by yourself mostly 80% of the time being a sonographer. They have teams in certain hospitals and facilities and sometimes those sonographers can be busy. It can be hard to get in contact with someone and ask them to help you. That's why it is so important to practice. If you forget a protocol, you always have the option to look at the protocol book that is at your facility or bring your own protocol book that you have, but you want to make sure that you are practicing the protocols that is for your facility. Most of the time, you're probably gonna be by yourself. You also can get a radiologist to assist you and help you if you are doing an exam that you've never done before and you have no idea what to do or talk to a physician or another tech but usually you're by yourself especially if you work night shifts the sixth and final con is that every day will not be happy you will have sad days i know a lot of people say that they want to work in ob because they get to work with babies but i can promise you it is not always going to be happy there are going to be women who have miscarriages during the exam there are going to be people who you have been scanning and been up to date with and doing their exams periodically and you may find out that they passed away and that can take a toll on you so you need to have a stress reliever you need to have a coping mechanism that's going to help you during those hard days it's going to be tough one of my instructors told me that she did an ultrasound on a patient and a couple hours later she passed away. Not only did she pass away, she passed away in front of my instructor. That's pretty tough. And she was only a child. So you're going to have sad days. It can be very emotional. But that's why you have coping, you have stress relievers, and have something that you can do outside of work or something that you do while at work that helps you get through those things. You may have to step away for a minute. You may have to debrief, but it is a part of being a sonographer. I'm sorry for ending on a sad note, guys, but these are the pros and cons of being a sonographer. Comment down below one of the things that you didn't know about sonography that I talked about today, and I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.